Now, I do believe the dubiosity, and it was mighty hoish of him to go ahead and disrespect my wife like that. Hey, 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 hey. The king, homie. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more fighting. This time, a little bit different fighting. We got some domestic fighting. And as you guys seen in the title, T.I., rapper T.I., from the movie ATL. He was in other movies, too, like American Gangster and others. And he and his wife of six years, singer Tiny Tamika Harris, are now, it looks like, on the road to divorce court and getting divorced. So there's a lot going on, and I'm going to explain and connect the dots. Aside from, I told you guys I'm a hip-hop head. I'm, I'm always been into music ever since like I've grown up or whatever. But there's a connection to the boxing world for the people who only kind of stay in tune with what's going on in boxing, right? And TMZ, I believe, was the first to break this story and, and let the public know what's happening. But Tamika Harris, T.I.'s former wife, she went to the Georgia Henry County Courthouse to file the permanent separation papers. And again, they were married for six years. Now, the interesting thing is, this has been going on for a while. There's been a lot of rumors swirling. From what I heard, there's some pretty close sources to that type of situation. And I heard they were living in different arrangements for a while. So it, it seemed like the end was near. Like I heard T.I. wasn't even in the same house. They have kids together too. And they had a TV show, like a reality TV show, The Family Hustle. And I heard they've been kind of living the separate life for weeks now maybe even longer than that now the way this relates to boxing is i got to give you guys the breakdown a couple years ago ti had this famous run-in and altercation i did a video on it way back then and it has since gotten over two million views on it on the channel and they had an altercation between floyd mayweather and ti in Las Vegas at Fat Burger. And then like the video surfaced, everybody was talking about it, TMZ, everybody. It went viral. My video went viral and the rest is history. So there was some kind of scuffle and you guys might remember from the video, Mayweather was yelling at TI's entourage and his camp like, he's like, control your bitch, control your bitch, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And he was hyped up and I don't know if, if punches connected. Then the next day or a few days following, TI did that famous video what they say i got two black eyes where they at dude and he was like saying hey i'm clean i i didn't get knocked out some people were saying floyd knocked me out and stuff like that and since that moment it's been on and popping and there's been bad blood between ti and floyd mayweather but then over the years it seemed like the bad blood had kind of simmered down nothing really was was happening there was a couple things that happened like globally or in the media that kind of sparked it up like Don King made some crazy comments and I did a video about that TI responded to that and then um Floyd did an interview and that went viral it, pretty much everything Floyd does becomes headlines but in the interview what Floyd Mayweather said this was not too long ago too this was in the last few months Floyd Mayweather did an interview and he's like uh I'm not gonna say that only black lives matter because all lives matter and different communities and different people including ti they didn't like that ti like he says i'm not even trying to dish you i know we had bad blood but he wrote this whole long like passage caption on his instagram saying i know we've had our differences but i'm coming to you as a man and what you're doing is wrong like basically there's a real life problem here in america police brutality we're seeing people after people in the black community and minorities in general getting clapped getting killed by police officers or citizens like george zimmerman trayvon martin situation and all these cases alt alton sterling and all these situations that have happened even just this year and you're gonna you're gonna sit up here with all your influence and know that it's all lies on floyd mayweather and people pay attention to what you say and it, it becomes a viral hit and you're going to say something like all lives matter, not black lives matter. You know what I'm saying? So T.I. felt the type of way. Then things get worse because a picture surfaced. It was like a, a holiday, Halloween or Christmas. I forget what it was. I think maybe a, a Halloween party. And 
Mariah Carey had this Halloween party at her mansion or at a hotel or whatnot, and there was a picture that surfaced, and it's T.I.'s wife, Tamika Harris, next to Floyd Mayweather and with Mariah Carey. So that already looks bad, like, you know what I mean, on some street shit or anybody who has a wife or situation like that or girlfriend. If you have known bad blood with somebody and it's a public issue and you guys are all celebrities and you're your photo next to him you know people are going to talk shit and and that's the thing with today's like society everybody has a opinion now because it's the internet so once people seen that picture they're like oh damn floyd fucking floyd fucking ti's girl and all kinds of shit like that and putting their two cents and you know how the peanut gallery goes so that that was the first like red flag or whatever that ti's wife was in a picture with Floyd Mayweather, you know what I mean? It just, it wasn't a good look because it's like, damn, you supposed to be on my side. We got kids together and you with a known enemy or somebody I don't get along with. So that had the people talking and people were saying that, that they were creeping and Floyd was smashing and it just, it got ugly from then. So recently, and this is, I had to give you guys the timeline, but to catch you guys up to speed to current time, after that, just recently, there was actually a video that surfaced and it was Floyd Mayweather and he was um, dancing with T.I.'s wife. and Or she was like dancing on him, like, you know what I mean? Twerking, grinding, whatever you want to call it. And she was doing like a little, little you know what I mean? Putting her butt all up on him and, and dancing and stuff like that. So people were just like, oh, wow. Like they really are smashing because this is T.I.'s wife and his wife is sitting up here dancing so she's giving no fucks zero fucks dancing with the enemy so i think it's just been problems ever since then and ti's wife tamika tiny if you guys know r&b music she's from the the group escape from back in the day and she posted something on her facebook and she was just basically saying that T.I. all the time, so he done cheated on me, and now he's accusing me of something, and I didn't even do it, and I don't know, it just, it, it just got bad from there, because I think, I think T.I.'s wife might have lied to him, because initially when it was just the picture before the video leaked of her dancing with him, she said, oh, I was kind of forced because Mariah Carey just wanted us all to take a group photo, so I kind of just did it, but then her story wasn't really corroborated when she's all of a sudden a video leaks and surfaces on the internet of her like dancing on him you know what i'm saying so that don't that looks like you part of the money team <laughs> like you getting a little bit too close too too friendly you know what i mean and it's just been bad since then so with all the rumors and the media and the fans putting their two cents in i think the the marriage just slowly but surely kept getting worse and, and, and ruined and some people speculate this has something strongly to do with the whole Floyd Mayweather situation. I don't know. I'm not in their marriage. I was never a part of their family and nothing like that. I don't know Tip or Pause. I don't know Tiny. So they could have had other issues because she accuses him of cheating and stuff like that. But it seems like the straw that broke the camel's back is this whole Mayweather situation. Because before that, him cheating or whatever else happened you guys still stayed married and then now all of a sudden she's filing for a divorce so crazy these celebrity couples be dropping like flies like even the ones you think are strong like brad pitt and angelina they just broke up this year and ti has kids and they had a reality show with tiny and they were together for six years that was his known boo and then now it looks like it's coming to an end as she filed the the divorce paper so that's basically the update that's the situation um i don't know my my thoughts are, i mean it's not my situation and i don't know all the details i only kind of know what was released to the media and i mean it does look kind of sketch if if she's doing all the dancing and stuff but i don't again i don't know what ti did i don't know you know what i'm saying you don't know what people do sometimes people are abusive behind closed doors he could have been cheating she could have caught him cheating who knows but I don't know, crazy situation. I'm glad I'm not married, so I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to deal with it. Uh, as far as Floyd Mayweather, I mean, 
he's not married, so he can do whatever he want. You know what I'm saying? And it's, I mean, really, I don't know. Maybe just where I'm from, it might be different from from where you guys are from. I'm not saying I'm I condone like adultery or like someone stepping outside of a a marriage, but dudes are gonna be dudes at the end of the day. It's really up to the female who's in that situation or the male whoever's in that partnership they're the ones that have the vows towards each other and again i'm not saying you should because i believe in karma too you know what i'm saying i'm not saying you should break up a happy home or a marriage or you know maybe creeping or anything like that but ultimately like for floyd mayweather he's single he's not he's not the one getting divorced he's not the one that gets in trouble it sounds like all of the girls he messes with that are part of his squad or whatever they know the arrangement they know he sees other people or whatever the situation is so he's in the clear but ti and tiny they're the ones that have the vow towards each other to work things out and you know what i mean i they're the ones that said i do so it's really up to them and if his his girl got to be you know what i'm saying i'm not saying put your girl on the leash but she's the one that has to respect the relationship and if, if ti is cheating or whatever else got her in the mode of like i don't give a fuck and i'm gonna dance with the known enemy then maybe she should have did the divorce thing sooner because obviously she had emotionally left the the relationship i sound like dr phil and stuff i'm like today's case i'm trying to break down but i'm just saying um people are are dumb they stay in relationships just because it's what they know and they're accustomed to it and they're comfortable with it so they'll just stay in the relationship even though it's not good for them anymore or it doesn't feel like when they first got together or hooked up the the emotional love is like dissipated and they just stay oh we got kids together so i gotta stay you know what i'm saying so i don't i don't recommend that like why go on another life is short rest in peace to carrie fisher george michael prince muhammad ali kimbo slice ricky harris life is way too short alan thick this is just off the top of my head of people who passed away celebrities that have passed away just this year you know what i'm saying and the point being is life is too short to waste time and not be happy so if you're in a relationship or if you're in a marriage and you're not happy then you need to find a way to either go to counseling marriage counseling and fix that and try to reignite the spark or get about that situation I understand I don't have kids so I don't know but I understand what it's like that that creates a, a different equation you know what I mean things become more complex when people have kids but I don't think someone should stay unhappy in a marriage to the point where they're gonna dance with the enemy or they're gonna cheat back because they're getting cheated on or two people both doing dirt what, is, what good is that for anybody you know what I mean both of y'all need to like be single if that's the case if y'all both gonna cheat on each other and I've I know a lot of people and I know a lot of situations like that where both people are doing dirt and it's just crazy and then i'm sure it happens all the time with celebrities but like i said life's too short be happy let me know what you guys think of this whole situation do you think floyd mayweather was the main cause or the straw that broke the camel's back in ti now getting divorced from his wife of six years drop that in the comment section make sure you share the video like the video as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is ego signing off so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the paypal donate button or the youtube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing